Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Morris. I'm a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at IVF1 here in the Naperville Fertility Center. And this is Infertility TV. If you are trying to conceive, the fertility medication known as clomiphene citrate or clomid may be an option for you. Clomid is used in two circumstances. First, Clomid is used for women who don't ovulate to try to induce ovulation. But Clomid is also used for women who already ovulate to try to further improve their chances for getting pregnant. The protocol for treating women with Clomid varies from doctor to doctor. I am going to tell you about the highly effective methods we use at IVF1. First, it is important to perform a baseline ultrasound of the ovaries and some baseline blood tests. Women who get their periods can do this on the second or third day of menstrual bleeding. Women who don't get their periods can do the baselines at any time. As long as everything looks okay, a woman may then start to take the Clomid pills. The starting dose is usually one to two pills a day for five days. Women who don't ovulate may use a higher dose up to five pills a day or use them for a longer period of time, such as seven or 10 days. After the last pill is taken, it is time to start monitoring for ovulation. With Clomid, monitoring can be done by using a home ovulation predictor kit, which allows a woman to test her urine every morning. A positive result means ovulation will follow in 12 to 24 hours. Another popular method for ovulation monitoring is to have it done at the doctor's office. Eggs mature inside of a cyst known as a follicle. As the egg matures, the follicle grows larger. This can be seen and measured on ultrasound. The cells that make up the follicle produce estrogen that can also be measured using blood tests. After the last pill of clomid is taken, follicle ultrasounds and estrogen blood tests can be performed every few days. At times, the egg will reach maturity without the body triggering ovulation. To get around this problem, doctors will instruct the patient to take an injection of a medication called HCG. 36 hours after the HCG is given, ovulation will occur. About a week after ovulation was predicted, another blood test called progesterone can be drawn to confirm ovulation. A week after that, a pregnancy test can be performed and then, fingers crossed. If you like this video, remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. Infertility TV is broadcast weekly. Don't miss any episodes. Click here to subscribe. Click here to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.